What's up restaurant and local business owners? Welcome to this short training on how to get a subscription VIP club for your local restaurant or business. Today we're going to cover um, how to uh, ditch your old school VIP program that you probably don't like and start generating passive revenue with a subscription VIP club. Interested in that? How to promote and sell subscriptions at little to no cost at all. You don't need an advanced marketing campaign. And how to get started and start generating that passive revenue in the next 30 days. So let's get after it here. Who is this for? This is for local merchants looking for a new passive revenue source. So you can pay employees more, offset rising costs, and you know stop the bleeding from third-party delivery services. Restaurants, cafes, coffee shops, breweries, wineries, dispensaries, comedy clubs, entertainment venue. I mean, there's all kinds of places. Basically, if you're a brick and mortar where people would be coming in um, to get offers or experiences, this would be good for you. All right. Now you might be saying, who, who are you, Court? Um, well, I was a high school teacher and a football coach for a long time. Got out of that, went into social media marketing, specifically for restaurants, all right? I've been doing that for years. You may have come across my YouTube channel where I've talked about essential marketing strategies and building VIP clubs. And um, we were using this old school system that the heart and core of it still works. The idea is that you want to have some kind of hook offer, all right? And a hook offer is, think about we're going fishing. And you want, you better have some good bait on that hook or else nobody's going to bite. And so you might say, okay, we're offering a buy one, get one pizza or a free hamburger or something. And you have a sign up link that you share lots of different ways, like through email and text and social media, you put it all over the place. And when people go to a landing page or some type of so, uh, opt-in form, they give their contact information, name, email address, phone number, and then you can send them offers, reminders, Black Friday specials, all kinds of stuff. And it works. It's a funnel. And and lot, you probably don't think about uh, restaurants needing a sales funnel, but you do. You've got to get awareness. You've got to get interest and you've got to get their butts in seats, all right? So you're not making any money unless you get butts in seats. And that's part of the sales funnel. And the goal of that old VIP club was to drive repeat visits, all right? And the idea works. You want to stay top of mind. You want to be able to, um, you know, when a customer thinks, where am I going to go out to eat? They think of you. Now, what we often heard, it brings in freebies and coupon seekers. I get it. You don't want freebie people only coming in for um, freebies and coupons. I understand. We don't give away free food. I get it. I understand uh, why you're saying that. And you might be thinking, how do I know this is even getting, uh, making a profit for me? I understand. I get it. Now, when the world ended, all that shut down, right? No longer could restaurants get butts in seats. It wasn't even possible. Your doors were closed. And for a couple of weeks there, restaurants didn't know what to do. Who came along? Third party delivery. And they started figuring out, oh, well, we'll deliver your food. We'll take your rat to the people. By the way, we'll take 30%. And restaurants had no way of making money unless it was a lot of the times through that third party delivery. Now, people started doing curbside and online ordering, things like that. But there was a time where restaurants had no way to generate revenue. And we came out of that thinking, how could we help restaurants generate passive revenue so that even if the doors are closed, even if you know there's nobody working, and the world shuts down again, how could we send money into restaurants so that they could offset you know, the rising costs, pay their people more, pay your people more, um, all that third party delivery stuff that's going on. Then, I don't know, this was maybe a year and a half ago, I did a YouTube video about On the Border. It was brilliant. They had a $1, one time $1 unlimited queso club. And so for $1, you got queso for a year. And I said, this is brilliant because on the border is getting people to pay them a dollar to give them their information. Usually it's the other way around. But now I would be paying on the border a dollar in exchange for queso. Queso costs nothing. 
maybe a quarter, right? And But when people come in, they're not just going to get queso. They're going to get margaritas or food. And it was brilliant. Now they've stopped doing it. I don't know why because it was a brilliant strategy. But the time I said, why are they only doing it for $1 and why only one time? Because if the customer puts in their credit card, you could run it again and you could sell them something different. Why only do it for a dollar and one time? And then we saw Panera. Now, this is fall of 2022. Uh, this back in spring uh, 2022, they were doing an $8 coffee club. And at the time, it was unlimited coffee. Well, now they're doing a sip club. It's $11 a month to join their club. And you get unlimited coffee, um, uh, tea, soda, all of the things for $11 a month. And you know people aren't just coming in and getting the coffee. Now, first of all, they're giving away drinks that cost nothing. Almost no labor, all right? Almost no food cost. And they're generating $11. Whether the person comes in one time, zero times, or 30 times, all right? They're paying $11. And um, they reported, uh, according to Patronix, that uh, at the time it was an 899 club. They had 750,000 members. So that was over $6 million in revenue. Now it's an $11 club, and so you can just imagine where it is now. So just imagine you and your restaurant. I know you're not Panera, I understand. But imagine if you could get 500 people, 500 raving fans, paying, let's say, a $17 a month subscription, okay? Where they could get exclusive offers and discounts at your restaurant that are not available to the general public. Okay, so it's truly a VIP club. It's not this old school VIP club where anybody could get in. It's a real, very important person club. You can do the math on what that might look like. So let me ask you a question. How would $5,000 a month, if you could generate $5,000 a month with a VIP club, how would that help your business? I bet you could find some ways to help pay your people more okay, or hire, you know, rock star people. I bet it would offset some costs and I bet it would stop the bleeding. It would help uh, with those third-party delivery services. Plus, what's Panera doing? They are collecting information. This is so important because, again, when the world ended, the restaurants I was working with, we had a database of five to 10,000 people and we could send out blasts and say, take and bake pasta special tonight, come on in because we had that existing database. Well, now Panera, they've got this database because they're asking people to sign up, all right? They have to put in their name, email address, phone number, birthday, because if the world were, in were to end again or something happened or at any time at all, they can send out messages and talk to their customers. There were lots of restaurants I talked to at the beginning of the pandemic that had no way of talking to people, no email list, no text list, way more common than it should have been. So let me ask you, how many people are in your database? How many emails and phone numbers do you have? And when was the last time you use it? How often do you use it? If you're sitting on a database of 5,000 people, you're sitting on a gold mine. Heck, 1,000 people, you're sitting on a gold mine. So if you're not utilizing that, you are missing out opportunities. You're leaving money on the table. So I'd like to introduce you to our Go Explore Local subscription VIP club for local businesses. Our mission, we are on a mission to help restaurants and local businesses generate a new passive revenue stream so they can do whatever they need to be successful. We also wanna help people discover and explore local businesses in the community. We know locally owned businesses, they are the heart and soul of the economic uh, part of, of uh, every community. We wanna help people discover you, all right? So that is our mission as well. Now you might be saying, Court, nobody's gonna pay for a subscription to my business. Who would pay for that? Well, I want you to think back to when you signed up for Netflix. Think back to that for a second. I know it was about 10 years ago for me, and I remember I was like, oh, I wanna sign up, I think I wanna watch House of Cards or something. So I was like, okay, I will sign up for Netflix, but that's it, I will not do any other streaming services. And then Disney Plus came along, and I was like, oh, I wanna watch The Mandalorian, I guess I'll sign up for that. And now I'm subscribed to all of these and most of them I only want to watch one or two things, but I'm still paying 10, 11, Netflix is $15 a month now, right? How many subscriptions do you have? You know, there's BarkBox subscriptions where they'll send you dog treats. 
I mean, legit, they're sending meals to people. Blue Apron in those places, all right? It, you know, people will pay for food, you know? And there's even toilet paper clubs, all right? I mean, there's subscriptions for everything. And I truly believe people will want to support local businesses. Think about it. Would someone rather have um, a subscription to Panera's Coffee Club or the coffee shop down the street that's locally owned? I would rather have the coffee shop, all right? And so people want to support local businesses, especially now. Um, we need them to be successful. So you might be saying, okay, this is interesting. How does it work? Well, the first step is to get customers inside of your VIP room. So imagine this is a VIP club area. And there's a bouncer here at the door and he says, okay, before anybody can go in and get some of the fun stuff, um, you've got to give us your name, email address, and phone number before you can enter, all right? So we use that hook like we talked about a few minutes ago. So you might say, hey, BOGO burger, free burger, free pizza, something to draw them in. You're going to get a link, okay? And you can use your link in lots of different ways you know, email, on QR codes, in social media. You can use it lots of ways and it will drive it to a specific customized page for you. So it looks just like you. It's got your logo and your address and everything, links to your website. And you can try it out. Hopefully, if this will scan, you can pause this. Don't pause it for too long, but pause this and you can uh, check it out, okay? So you'll go to that club and you may have just experienced it. You go through and sign up just like what Panera has. And then in the back end, we are capturing all that information. Once a month, we will send you a CSV file that you can do with what you wish. If you want to upload it to MailChimp and send out an email blast, you can do that. If you want to give it to your marketing agency and they can help you do it, you can do that as well. All right. So that is up to you. Now, um, when someone logs in, this is, let's think of this as like their membership card, if you will, their membership card. And inside of here are all their different offers, okay? And they can scroll through the different offers, all right? You may have, be, you may have experienced that. So let's say, you know, a, as a one-time offer, as a hook offer, that's a free specialty burger, all right? It's free, but it's just for signing up, all right? You have to sign up with the name and email address, phone number. Or let's say you have a monthly offer that's a free appetizer, okay? So every single month. So um, there is a login page. It's not an app, but people can add it to their phone like an app. But right now there's a login page. So someone would log in, they would create an account and um, inside of their wallet, if you will, they would have the different um, businesses that they're members to. Now think about this. You may be saying, Court, I don't wanna be next to other businesses in someone's wallet. Well, you know, our, again, our mission is to help people discover and find local businesses. So think about the opportunities. Someone may have a subscription to um, your competitor down the street, but if they like your place or they like that place, they're probably going to like your place as well. So think about the opportunities that you would have to, to get people in for the first time that maybe would not have experienced it before. All right. Lots of opportunities. So in on that card, so this would be like your own card. Mine says Quartz Cafe, but this would be yours. There is a My Offers button. So you click this My Offers button and uh, you might be thinking, ah, now I've got more fancy tech that I have to deal with. Nope, there's no fancy tech at all. So they would show that offer like I showed a minute ago and they would hit the Redeem button, okay? They would click the Redeem button and think of it like they would go up to the server or however. So imagine this is customer. Here's the server over here. They show the offer. Okay, I want to redeem it now. They click the button and um, most places are setting it up in their POS. Right now, we don't have integration between the two. Most POSs don't want to play nice and, and allow this interaction to occur. All right, so that's the big problem. But um, right now, you would um, redeem it right here, click the redeem button, and then push the button on the POS. All right, so you would click that redeem button. Once it's been redeemed, it grays out. And you can have offers uh, reset as a one-time only offer, so they can only ever use it once. A, uh, a, a monthly offer, a daily offer, weekly offer, or a birthday offer. So you can have different offers, different time periods that will reset um, whatever you set it as. So basically, it's a digital punch card. Basically, every time it's redeemed, 
it will reset itself every single month. But instead of being a physical punch card that someone has to carry around or you have to give them a new one every single time, it just resets. It resets as long as they are a paying member of the club, okay? So in the free club, in the free club, you might have something like this. This is just an idea to get you started. Now, this free club shouldn't be too good, all right? Because we want to we want to upgrade people, which we'll talk about in a minute. Um, and so maybe you have a one-time only offer of a free burger. And then every month they get a free appetizer. So basically every month, free appetizer. And you could say, all right, on every visit you get 10% off. Um, and then your birthday month, you get a free dessert, let's say. It's a uh, $20 value, it's free, just in exchange for your email address and phone number. Now, you this is 100% customizable. You don't have to do a daily offer. You don't have to do a monthly offer. You can do whatever you want. It is totally customizable for you, okay? But then, just like if you were to go to a club and you see that club over there and you're like, oh, what's going on in that club? That looks fun. Um, you, we want to upgrade people to this special VIP area. And this is the area inside of their membership that not everybody gets access to, only paying members. So if they want to change their membership right here on their card, they would go change membership and they would put in their credit card information over here and it would upgrade them to a new club. Now, you say, what does a new club look like? Well, maybe you have three clubs. I always like the Goldilocks strategy, small, medium, large. So this is the free one. Then maybe you have a $27 burger club. And for $27, they get these offers. They get a free burger of the month, every month, a free one. Uh, they get two free kids meals. Uh, they get bottomless fries, whatever it is, all right? Now, um, um, you might say, how often can they use these offers? Can they use multiple offers? It is totally up to you. That is totally customizable. If you say, well, we'll, we'll let them use the free appetizer and they can combine it with a, a once a month offer, that's fine. We will put it in the terms and conditions, all right? So you can decide how it works. Again, it's just a digital punch card. Maybe then you want to have a more expensive one. Let's say you have a $47 one. It could be whatever. Uh, I have one place that we're talking to. They want to do a $97 one where they can offer like wine and cooking classes and all kinds of stuff. Now, another strategy would be to have a starter club and then two clubs that are the same price. So let's just say, for example, you have a pizza club that's full of mostly food offers and a beer club that's full of beer offers. So if someone's like, well, I just want, I want pizza, they can get that. But the beer lovers can have this. So you can use it, again, as a digital punch card. You could have like four punches of a $1 domestic pint, let's say. And you can say you can only have two punches per visit because you don't want someone to sit there and use up all their punches in one visit, right? And you could say those are both $17. And then if you want, and this is what we're doing for people, is having a fourth one that's these two combined at a discount. So if you want everything in the pizza club, everything in the beer club, it's another club that's even more expensive, all right? Think about the possibilities. Think about experiences. Think about things you can offer that wouldn't even cost money or you could do at a very reasonable cost. For example, if you're a, a coffee shop and you do a weekly game night, maybe it's a punch that you have to be a member of the VIP club to get a punch into this event. And at this event, you get... I don't know, you get a free pastry and I don't know, whatever it is. Um, but it's a digital punch card to that experience. If you're a winery, think about putting together an experience. It could almost be something that people could come pick up every month. It could be, you know, they get to choose a wine, they get crackers, whatever it is, and you curate an experience for people. I know you winery owners and brewery owners are gonna think of all kinds of ideas I haven't even thought of. Food, you can have lots of different things with food. One thing that's really interesting would be to put together like a wow appetizer. What do I mean by that? Only VIP club members would be able to order a wow, some kind of wow appetizer. Something that when your staff brings it out, every head in the restaurant turns and says, what is that and how do I order it? Well, you have to be a member of the VIP club. Okay, how do I join? So, uh, you know, special menu items that only members could have. You could also do uh, cooking classes. You know, bring your chef in and do a cooking class for couples, Valentine's Day. Lots of opportunities to create experiences that don't just have to be food offers, but only available to those people. And remember, it has to be a good experience. If people aren't finding value or it's a lame club, 
they're not going to join or they're not going to um, want to stay. So it's got to be a really positive, fun experience for people. So the difference is between what we were doing was just trying to generate repeat visits. Just like what Panera is doing, we want to generate repeat visits and passive income. We want people to stay in the VIP club because they're getting so much value out of it, all right? And they've become even more a raving fan of yours, okay? And rotate that over time. So you might be saying, interesting, what does this cost restaurants, all right? Uh, it's a one-time 197 setup fee and then it's $0 a month, seriously. Cost you nothing, $0 a month. You, the restaurant, get 75% of all subscription sales and then 100% of all in-store upsells, okay? That's it. Um, you don't have to do anything else um, and you'll get that subscription. Now, what do I mean by 100% of all upsells? So if a family of four comes in and they have one uh, membership and let's say it's a free pizza and they use that and they get that free pizza, but they also get drinks and appetizers and salads and stuff, they would have they would pay that through your credit card processor. We don't process that. That would be all through you. Uh, so we are only running the, the uh, subscription uh, card. So you know if you got 500 people paying $17, 75% of that would be $6,000 a month. How could that help? Would that be able to help you? I mean, that is very attainable. How would it help you do all those things that uh, I know you're stressing about. And don't worry, you don't have to do any of the stuff. You don't have to do any tech. You'll get assigned to a certified account specialist who will help you get your club set up. We'll customize it for you with your logo, your colors, your website link. We'll give you a monthly ROI report. Staff training will help your, your staff sell more. Um, customer service, so if customers have complaints, you know, we'll handle all chargebacks, credit card transactions, any tech support, and accounting. So what we're gonna do is we will hold the money for 30 days. After 30 days, make sure there's no chargebacks or any you know issues, and then we will release the money as an ACH deposit for you every 30 days. So as an example, let me give you an example. Uh, on a $19 a month subscription, if you had a $19 a month subscription, your 75% would be $14.25 per subscription. And just to be transparent with you, development and operations of the platform gets 15%. And that's so that we can keep building this as a good, positive user experience. So, But we want to give the bulk of it to restaurants. Again, it costs you nothing. We also have a friends and foodies program because what do you need? you need someone out there helping you sell the subscription. You're not gonna make any money on the subscriptions unless people are helping you. So this Friends and Foodies program, we have uh, we work with um, experts on selling stuff online. So you know there are opportunities to help you create TikToks and Reels, run Facebook ads, email, SMS marketing, uh, you know, help you create templates, uh, printables, and we have all we have customized plans available, so you can ask about that. Our friends and foodies program, we will help you sell more, and we will help you with a done for you kickoff marketing campaign. So once you're ready to go live, we will run a, what's called a reactivation campaign. Basically, if you have an email list of let's say 5,000 people and you've never sent them an email before, or it's been a couple months, we will help get that going again. And again, the goal is to get people into the free club and upgrade to the paid one. And um, we'll create one customized printable for you, a template. So a, a table tent or a card, or a lot of people are wanting the round stickers. Um, printing fee not included, just FYI. So as an example, and here's how it all breaks down in the pie chart, restaurant, you would get 75%. The friend and foodie would get um, 10% and development and operations gets 15%. So this is a win-win for everybody. It's a win for you as the restaurant owner. You're generating passive revenue while you sleep. The friends and foodies, they're helping you sell more and they're getting rewarded for that. And then we're gonna build an even better experience for everybody um, with this. So you might be saying, okay, this sounds really good. I'm ready, how do I get started? Go to www.goexplorelocal.com slash merchants. When you go there, um, uh, there is a uh, let's get started button. 
And on this get started button, it's a one time 197 setup fee for onboarding. All right, it's one time. And um, you go there, you're just gonna fill out your information, put in your credit card, and then there's a short questionnaire where we're just ask about your business. Basically, we need your business name, email, phone number, um, your, your website address, social media links, review links, because that's gonna help us create that, um, that unique club for you. Then the next part is creating the offers, all right? So we have additional training about how to create really good profitable offers for you. So you're gonna create those offers and then your certified account specialist will be in touch and you guys will work together. You will collaborate to make sure that your club makes sense for you, is profitable, and um, and is, your customers will find value in, all right? So you'll get all the, all the support you need on that because we want to help you get rolling. Nobody makes money, you know, unless this gets going. So it is everybody's best interest to have a really good experience and help each other out. It's truly a collaborative effort. So if you have any questions, please email hello at goexplorelocal.com. Um, I am here for you, happy to help. Hope you're having an awesome day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.